turn it to the side, don't you? It was the suction. Right! See, we knew the suction didn't clean. We just didn't think about it. Yeah. But that's the truth of what we just talked about. Now, the last attachment that you'll probably use the absolute most in your home is this attachment right here. That's actually your power head. That's what she was talking about earlier to you. So with our power head, what you've got here, if you notice, is you've got those brushes that we were talking about that spin. You'll see when we hook it up in a minute. And then you got your bar in the middle, okay? The bar turns, these turns, this one's gonna turn counterclockwise, this is gonna turn clockwise. What it's doing is it's bringing the dirt to the middle so that we can pick it up, okay? It's got a headlight on it, okay? That's so you can see under a bed, and you in a dark corner, something of that nature. So it's got the same LED lights that the machine has here, okay? LED lights will last, same thing, about 50 years before you have to worry about that, so you don't have to replace them. And then it's a quick connect. If you notice, everything hooks up to the same hose. All these attachments hook up to the same hose. So to get it loose, you just mash this with your foot, pull straight up, okay? As she gets a little older, she's gonna wanna help you. <laughs> so you have a kid addition, right? Cause she's gonna wanna help, there is no doubt about it. Okay? Until she's about 12. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, the secret is getting them to continue to do it till they get to this age yeah. again, right? Okay, but look, we even have a baby version. Uh, look at that. Get with you, Get with you. Like, get with you. There you go. Okay. So again, no, but again, seriously, around that little age like that, they can use it as well. It's what's cool. So you get the idea. The idea is the length of pipe just allows you to change the length of pipe. What you need to do here. Okay. It's all quick connected here. Okay. Now, just to kind of give you an idea when I turn this on. Okay. A couple of quick things real quick is when I turn it on, it doesn't run by itself. Okay. You have a, a trigger and a switch. The switch all the way down cuts the trigger off. Because when you're using these attachments, you don't really need power, okay? This has its own brush and, and, and beater bar to it, and beater brush, I mean. So you move this up one notch, and it works by the trigger. You pull the trigger, it runs. You let off the trigger, it stops, right? All the way up, and it runs continuously. So you have three settings with your switch. From a guy's standpoint, we have off, Manual, automatic. Get it? <laughs> uh, yeah, see, or from a got a cop standpoint, safe, semi-automatic. Oh, automatic. Hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, that was good. I like that. that. I will use that on the phone. Right here from now on. Anybody that's a gun guy, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay, but again, <laughs> something that's amazing. This can be used on the dashboard. Or this floor. And there's no adjusting it, no raising adjusting. it, or it automatically adjusts itself. Okay. So you can back in here or here. Either floor. It's designed to do either floor. So you don't have to worry about either one. And also, I want you to notice in the hallway. See how it eliminates the dirt? It actually makes the dirt flow. Make sure you use it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I have a younger son still in school, 16. Oh. So they call three times a day with. Fundraisers, back for sales, the chorus is having something on it. But you get the idea. Now, all right, now I'm going to let you use this. But I want to show you something that's really amazed me the first time I've seen it. And this is why I want to see if you were paying attention to me. What did we say picked up the dirt off the floor? There. Yes, y'all were paying attention. Okay. <laughs> so the people say, uh, okay. So when I turn this on, I'm not even going to turn this on. I just want to hope they fit my head. Oh I'm gosh. Hey, no, son. Come on. Now we're, gonna, we're pushing this, and, and I've not even got it on, right? So that means I wouldn't be back, I wouldn't be putting up any dirt, right? Mm -hmm. Now this is on a hard surface floor, and I'm not picking, I'm not even running it, so I'm not picking up any dirt, right? Because <laughs> it's not on. I'm not picking up any dirt, because I didn't even have it on, right? Okay. <laughs> but look what we got off that floor and never turned it on. And never turned it on. So My what, house, our house is just filthy. <laughs> It's your vacuum is not doing the job. Does that make sense? It's not you, it's the tool. See, this got down in those cracks and crevices and yes. air was able to pick it up off the floor. You're just, a broom would just sweep dirt into the crack. A swifter sweeps dirt into the crack. It don't pick it up. That was not even turning it on. Crazy. Crazy. Right there. Like, yeah. Now, let's do, let's do one more. Because I have to do it. And then I'll let you use it. All right? But I want to actually get all grown to something else. Okay, and that's this. You have carpet upstairs? 
The stairs are carpeted. And that's it? That's yeah, it. the stairs and the bedroom. And the bedrooms, okay, that's what I meant, okay? Now, this time I'm gonna get over here, raise the feet up there. Okay. Now you hear the smother? Do you hear the motor? What's it doing? Straining it, isn't it? Okay. Alright, that's another reason why we're the least repaired vacuum on the market. By all consumer magazines were the least repaired. It's because, see, with a regular vacuum, not only does it, when the filters become clogged, it can't pick up dirt, but it puts the motor under a strain, and that's why vacuums fail so often. With our product, there's nothing to clog. Oh, dear Lord. I'm going to take this thing out and burn it. <laughs> we just need to clean it. That's all we need to do. <laughs> Isn't that amazing, though, guys? Look at that. I swear I vacuum and clean it. I know you do. But is there any way that can be helped? I mean, there's just not, okay? Oh, man, we're trying, right but the tool we're not using is not working, okay? So, let's see if the rainbow can make a difference, okay? So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna vacuum right here. Now, I get a minute ago, I went over that spot, what, two or three times, right? Okay, well this time I know when you vacuum, you don't stand in one spot and vacuum over and over, I know that. But an average person will hit a spot a couple of times and then move on, all right? So what I'm trying to show you is, if you stood and vacuumed once a week, you hit a spot eight or ten times, right? So up and back with a stroke. So what I'm going to try to do is vacuum right here about three months worth of beat vacuum, which is 25 or 30 strokes. And I'm going to see if you use the rainbow, would it make a difference? Because if it's not going to make a difference, there's no need to buy one. Does that make sense? Okay. Because it would be no different than what you currently have. We wouldn't be blowing the dirt and dust out in the air. That's obvious. But the main thing we want to vacuum to do is clean. Now, I didn't count how many times we went back and forth right here. I don't know if you did either, but I want you to understand something. If you were timing me, okay, with a watch or she was, I bet you I've not vacuumed that spot two minutes. I bet you I haven't. All right? Now, since we went back and forth in that spot 25 or 30 times, one more second, and I'll put you, let you put your feet down. You didn't know you was going to do aerobics, did you? Oh, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do, Cause we're going to this time, this time we're going to do the same thing. Wish. Yeah, why did the light? I'm going to tell you that in one second. We're going to do the same couple of strokes back and forth that we did a minute ago. Now, a minute ago, I'm not saying it's clean, but in just two, less than two minutes of cleaning, Jeez. we went from this to this in less than two minutes. Isn't that amazing? Still sad right there. Yeah, it's, it was a build up though, guys. Yeah. I mean, my gosh. Okay, if I did it 25 or 30 more times, guess what? It would be down to nothing, wouldn't it? Okay, so the reality is the rainbow is going to get your home clean. All right, now, here's what I want to show you. There's two settings. Okay, you can put your feet back down. Okay, there's two settings. See, I left this on. Okay. Okay, so the average person, they're used to cutting the machine off instead of cutting this off. Okay, so if you're vacuuming and you reach down here and cut this off and then put it in the closet, when you get it back out, you're going to get it out and you're going to do exactly what everybody else does. You're going to hook the hose in, and you're going to turn this on. It won't come on. If this was sitting on her fingers or her toes, or it was something delicate, like yeah. it would come on, like a cord or something, yeah. it would cut. Right. Okay. So we have designed our product where it won't come on. You have to have your hand on the switch and cut it off and cut it back on. So you have to have your hand on it. So it's safe to do Another feature though, if you notice just then two things happen. The red light was on and that blink. Okay? Alright? If you were vacuuming the floor and you sucked up a sock or a throw rug accidentally and it put the bar in a bag where it wouldn't turn, mm -hmm. okay, the red light wouldn't would come on, but it wouldn't blink. Okay. The blinking means you can reset it by this switch. Okay. The red light means you have to cut the rainbow on and off okay. to reset it. Okay, and the reason for that is because if you had it on and you reached down here and tried to pull out something, yeah. it, it, we wouldn't want it to come on and mess your fingers up. Right. Okay, so you would have to cut the rainbow off and cut the rainbow back on. So there's two sensors. One sense is this was left on, and one sense is that that's in a box. Okay. okay, so that's one. I do want you to see how easy this is. It does get his hands down. <laughs> And walk up, walk up there and see what the light can show you. Yeah, see what the light shows you. Do you see that? Isn't that amazing? You can ask. Like hair and stuff getting blown in the head. 
Exactly, exactly. You, a minute ago when I was talking, you have that switch all the way up, all the way down, all the way down, you have three settings, it's correct. Okay? This depends on what setting you're on. Okay? Now here's what I was going to share with you. Alright? You're, you, you, you're, you're back in the floor, okay? Alright? Now, once you go through your home, I think you would agree with this statement. When you first get a rainbow, mm -hmm. it's when you're going to have the most dirt in your home. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Because you got to build it. As you continually use your rainbow, yeah. you're going to yeah. you're going to have less and less, less and less. That is correct. Healthy. And you're going to have less air, less dust in the air, less dust on your furniture. We've already talked about that. But here's the thing: you've got your rainbow out, you've got it clean in the air, right? Clean water. So if you come home and you say, "I just want to sweep," I just want to do right here. You can get this out, plug it in, vacuum, and then turn it back down on low. Because you've got the accumulation out, you're only picking up what you kind of brought in. Mm -hmm. You can do that two or three times before you have to empty the water. You don't have to empty the water every single time mm -hmm. on a hard surface floor. You vacuum in carpeted floors, you're going to have to vacuum into it pretty much every time. But on a hard surface floor, the rainbow becomes like a central unit, meaning you don't have to cut it off all the time. And in between the difference between a central unit, a central unit can't clean the air you're breathing. So in between, we're cleaning the air and getting the dirt out of the floor without having to empty the water. Okay? Now, again, you've seen it, but I wanted to make sure, because sure, a lady got so excited one day, and uh, since that day, I'll uh, make sure and point this out to people. If you try to go underneath the bed or something, Stephanie was a regular back in the hits and it stopped. She can't get under the bed. Now, this is where you can get out of the floor. You can go all the way into the wall, all the way into the wall, and then get the floor out of the bed. Yeah. She was a widow, and she hadn't been able to get in her bed since her husband passed away. She couldn't move her mm -hmm. bed. And she was like, oh my God, she took it man, right then. You would have thought, I don't know, it was a million dollars mm -hmm. or something. Because it had been bugging her for about five years, and she could she not get, under, get under her bed. And e anyway, she was just ecstatic. So this will go all the way flat to the floor, so it will go underneath the bed or something of that nature. Now, she mentioned something about your stairs. This is too big for the stairs. Now, everything that I showed you right now is standard equipment. Okay. okay? All right. Now, this is an optional accessory, and this is what you can get through those referrals as one of the gifts you can get. This is a little miniature handheld power head. Remember how we talked about LEDs as well? Yes. Remember how we talked about the dust mites and the bed mattress? That's what that's for. You vacuum your bed mattress with clean water, the water will look like cream of wheat, oatmeal. And it's, it's scary looking. It's scary looking. You'll be like, oh my goodness. So it's a mate. What it was designed for though, really truly, is for your stairs. See, this would be hard to vacuum on a stair. It's too big. So we've got a miniature power unit. But you can do the same thing with it. You can vacuum the stair. So you can use this on furniture. On stairs, on a bed mattress, in your car, anything cloth. It doesn't work well on leather, like in your cars or on a couch here. But it would work well there. Okay? So you have something that you can use all the way to the floor, but this also can be used all the way up here. So it can be used at any length, just like that one was. Okay? So the little neutral power head is really cool for stairs. Okay? Cool. It really is. All right? So again, we have an attachment to be able to do steps with as far as that's concerned. The other two accessories that we have is because, you see, carpet gets stains. You can vacuum dirt out of carpet, but you can't vacuum stains out of carpet. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we would have to have a shampooer. So what we do with our product is we actually have, that's okay, you're not going to hook that is we actually have a shampoo uh, that you can hook up to our product. What it is, this, that we're on the tail end, what you do is you have that little power, see that, it's a different hand. So all I would do is take this hose and pipe and stick it into the shampoo head, which is this head. It has a little tank that lifts out. That's what you put your water and soap in. That's what you shampoo with. So now when I pull the trigger, it mists the water out on the floor. Okay. The brushes turn and get the stains out, right? And then you have a foot pedal on the side that you mash, and you go back over it, and it sucks up the dirty water back into the rainbow. So the rainbow is your collection container. So when you're back, when you're shampooing, you leave that empty. Does that make sense? Yep. Now, the ability to be a cup of water, though, doesn't just go with the shampooer. If you spilt something on the floor right now, you could suck it up. She spits up. I could suck it right off your shirt. <laughs> I could, literally. Okay. Now, your and times are coming when you start drinking Kool-Aid. Yeah, and exactly. Kool-Aid, exactly. You're right. So you're able just to suck it right up. Okay. Anything. You spill something on a couch, you can just suck it right up. Now, 
People say, well, Terry, and now again, it depends on what length of pipe you're using as well, but if it was just the hose that you're picking up something liquid with, you can do this. As they get older, they might get sick in the middle of the night. I had two on the way to the restroom, trying to get to the bathroom. Oh, Lord, I did All thing. in the hall. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. I know it is. <laughs> okay. And you're in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock in the morning, and you're not wanting to want to sit down there and wipe that up, right? Okay. So what do you do? Maddie. Yeah, exactly. So Well, I had, we had English Bulldog uh -oh. and had some stomach issues before well, we there had to have it put down, and that would have been... That way, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what you do is you put this on Especially here. at 2 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. And you can stand up. You don't have to touch it. Yeah. You don't even have to be around it. You suck it right up, pour a little water on it, go ahead and suck it up, literally minutes. Take a glass of warm water, suck it up, rinse the hose and pipe clean. Because if you don't, everything you picked up will stick to the yep. inside of the hose and pipe. So you always want to do a good rinse. Yep. If you're picking up something like, I don't mean that in the Bible, but like throw up or something, yeah. then I would put a little alcohol in the water to disinfect the hose and pipe, sure. yep. to kill the germs in it. Right, okay. So all you just do is pour a little rub of alcohol in a glass of water and suck it up and it'll rinse it right clean. Okay, so the rainbow you don't have to have a shampooer. The shampoo is designed like shampoo carpets. Yeah. But you can just suck up water with just the rainbow itself. Okay. So again, we have the ability for that. And then the last optional accessory that I'll share with you tonight is our mopping system. It's very similar to a Swifter. Okay. What it basically does is it has another pipe like this. It has a water bottle on the back that you take out. You put your cleaning solution in and you slide it down. It has three different heads that hook up to it. And then when you pull the trigger, it mists the water out on the floor. And then depending on what head you have, okay? When you take, okay, let's go back to that. You mist the water out by spray it, pulling the trigger. Then you push this down so you don't spray no more water. Because a little bit of water will do a big part of the floor, mm -hmm. okay? Think about a mop. A mop doesn't pick anything up. It spreads it around, man. So your floor's still dirty. Yeah. If you mop a floor with a regular mop, take a white towel and wipe it across the floor and tell me that floor's clean. It ain't clean, yeah. I promise you. You didn't suck up the dirty water off the floor, mm -hmm. okay? I was raised by my grandmother and that's what she used to teach me and I used to wonder, always wonder why she mopped the floor with on her hands and knees. And she, that's what she told me. She said, you're not getting the dirt up so you have to have a towel to dry the dirt up off the floor. And so when we come out with our mop, I was like, man, that's exactly what my grandmother told me 40 years ago. But anyways, <laughs> and she was true. It's a yeah. fact. She showed me. She showed me. With, she said, you get a regular mop and mop the floor. And then she wiped it with a white towel. And it was dirty. And she said, that floor ain't clean. So anyway, so our mopping system actually has three different heads that come with it. One's a sponge and a squeegee or a brush and a squeegee. And the other one is just a big towel head, okay. more or less. So with the towel head, it's sucking water up through the towel, obviously. And your, and your brush, your stiffer brush, is actually used to be able to do like tile and things like that because it would have a grout. Then it swivels and there's a squeegee blade on the back. So you just pull it across the floor and it sucks up the water off the floor. All three of the accessories though, when you mop, it's dry immediately. You don't have to continue to try to do anything other than just, it's just dry. You don't have to worry about saying, don't walk on the floor, okay? <laughs> So you can get all three of those accessories through the referral program. That's why we wanted you to put it on Facebook. That's why we wanted you to try to make a list of referrals. If you got eight people to look at our product, you get all of the accessories free. Four gets you one, six gets you two, eight gets you three. So all we gotta do is just try to get you some referrals to look and you get all of our accessories free instead of having to buy. Okay? Now, again, we didn't do a lot of vacuuming, guys. I wish we would have, but I know time is the essence of everything. I think you get the idea of what we're talking about. Oh, my gosh. Just in what little we vacuumed, look what we got. Yep. Okay? Now, so we can get a better look at it. I don't know. We don't need a better look. She says no. Look at all that grit and sand. And we just vacuumed right here, guys, and right there. Isn't that amazing? I hate this stupid thing. Always have. Look at that. Oh, that's a shame right there. Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but you know, I had a lady one time tell me she had to think about whether she wanted to get that out of her home. Y'all wouldn't have to think about that. Uh, you don't want to do it, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. The other thing is, guess what? As bad as it looks, smell. Honestly. Uh, no, so smell. Like you exactly. Oh, about that time, isn't it? Now, did you notice what just happened there? Smell this thing. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Now think about this. If I took that container out of your vacuum and asked you to stick your nose in there, you yes, absolutely not. <laughs> I'd asked you to leave, my thing. <laughs> so the reality is this. Why did y'all do this? Because you know it's wet and you know you're not going to smell anything. Does that yes. make sense? Hi. You knew you wasn't going to breathe anything. Yes. So your mind. Hi. Hi. Okay. 
So the reality is this, guys. This is where all the dirt and dust goes. So you know, the old saying I've done for about 30 years is if the rainbow stays in your home, you know what leaves your home? The dirt. But if the rainbow leaves, you know what stays? The dirt. The dirt. Okay. So it just depends on what we want to do with the dirt. Do we want it to leave or do we want it to stay? Okay. So do y'all have any questions about the rainbow at all? Okay. Let me just share a couple of things. It's all of the dirt and dust that goes into water. You have no spring in the water. That's why we were the least prepared back then. We are also earth friendly if you're concerned about the environment. We are earth friendly, okay? This is just a couple of testimonials of people that had had small children and how it helped with their breathing problems. Oh, he's got a hold of you. She's got a hold of your nose, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> this is just some people that, uh, famous people that own our products and some famous companies. But here's this. How long do y'all plan on trying to keep a clean, healthy home in your home, Stephanie? What, 20, 30, 40 years? I hope Right. But here's my point. We're not making the decision of whether to clean. You already made that decision. Oh, my goodness. Would you agree that if we're going to do that, we're going to spend money? Mm -hmm. So regardless of whether you buy a rainbow, you're going to try to clean, and you're going to spend money. So our company realized and wants you to understand that you'll spend more money not using a rainbow than you will if you do. They say the average family over 15 years will spend somewhere around $7,500 and still not get the dirt out of your home. If you only spent half that money over the next 15 years, your home still wouldn't be clean, would it? Because you're trying to use traditional tools, and there's proof right there that they're not. And that don't even count your health, which is the most important thing on the page. Now, the rainbow doesn't cost $7,500, $3,750 either. The rainbow is only $29.99. That's for everything that I've showed you today, standard equipment with an extended warranty. The extended warranty is eight years parts and labor instead of just four. It comes standard with a four-year warranty. The extended warranty is eight, and it's a 20-year guaranteed trade-in. Anytime in 20 years you want to grant, trade a rainbow and you guaranteed $850 for it. So that extended warranty is normally $300, so the total price would be $29.99. Okay? We eliminate this cost for a whole lot less money. Okay? But here's my point. If it was the same money, because you've already said we're going to clean. That's not the choice, right? And we're going to spend money. Which way, again, healthier for the home? The rainbow or the... Con you get the idea, don't you, Tiffany? And in reality, in my opinion, which home's going to be cleaner? <clears throat> See the rainbow. So it's not a matter of spending money. It's just the way we're going to spend it. We're going to spend it this way and start over 15 years from now, or we're going to spend this way and then have something to continue to use. Now. So what we do to save your money today is we give you a $200 discount. Anything you trade in today, we give you $200 for. What we're going to do for you today is we're going to give you our extended warranty of $300, which means you get this free. So what you do is you get to save $200 and $300 off the price, which makes the rainbow $24.99, okay? Mm -hmm. Which again, saves you way more over the long run. The good thing is, after 15 years, you've invested all you need to. You're gonna to continue to use that product for another 15 years, woo! See, it's, 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 it's ways a person to get one if they're interested. We do take cash or check, credit cards, and we do have what's called a budget plan. And that's where you can set it up and do it on a monthly basis. And we just try to work it into your budget if that's something you'd be interested in. Okay, so at this point I'm pretty much done. If y'all are interested in anything, and interested in trying to get the rainbow, you know, keep that in mind. There's just a few things we ask people to think about as I'm getting my stuff up. And that is how soon do they want to get this out of their home? If they use it, if they had it, would they use it? And what be the best way to help you to get it? Why y'all kind of think about that and decide that I'll kind of be getting some of my stuff up? Is that fair enough, dear? So let me get some of my stuff up out of here.